because we're already dropping all the words. Yeah. Except for that word. That word costs money. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake and tonight I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Blake from Blake Goes Face, aka Noxious Fumes. Again, again, 13 year old usernames, love it. You still use it on your Twitch, so... Do I, I do actually. No, 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 I'm Blake Goes Face on Twitch now. Oh, you changed yeah, it? I finally oh, okay. changed it, yeah. Oh, now I can't say Noxious Fumes. Yeah, I know. And I only just learned how to say it properly. Yeah, that's fair. How was our week in Locals? Um, let's go Blake first, because I don't think you had a Locals. No, but I make a bunch of... I thought we were doing Week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Not Week in Locals. Yeah, You're no, throwing me out of the bus, Jake. They just want to talk about Pokemon shit. No, no, I'm just saying, I made Yu-Gi-Oh! content at least. That's what I did last week, or this last week. Um, again, deck reviews because people don't understand how to build decks. Um, yeah, more yeah. deck Speaking reviews. Speaking of which, I just saw... Like, of Book of Moon. Later, later. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go on this. We, we, gotta, we gotta give a early. review. Um, but yeah, just a deck review. Um, a... What else did I post? I could probably get that up. Um, I've, oh, another profile um, for Central. Um, just getting that list up. Uh, which, our lists were like weirdly close. Very close. Yeah. Um, but it's because you build correct decks. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, but yeah. it's a pretty fucking helmet deck to build. Yeah, it's not hard. Yeah. It's, it's, not it's not hard to have hard. like half a brain when it comes it's to like, this deck. It's like, do I play three Book of Moon? Or do I play three cards that can interrupt my opponent? Just that th work or that th th don't let me brick. Um, but yeah, a bunch of content, and then like actually getting on Master Duel and trying that out. I'm actually quite happy with not maining the Harpy Storm and maining the Imperms instead. I feel yeah, like I might switch the good. Imperms out for like a more effective hand trap. Yeah, like, could do. I need to find a, some some card we can play that turn skips. Yeah, I, I have actually found that like the the hand trap lineup of Shifty, three Ash or Ogre. Yeah. Um, and then three of something else like just what like the nine slots of whatever is good just seem to work really well yeah I think I saw Nimbiru being used but it's very weird because if you have the trap it's, it's literally only live turn one it's live turn one and it can be live after that if you don't want to summon in their turn which doesn't seem good yeah but I have seen it used so do you play Harpies going first like mm -hmm. two sided oh going mm -hmm. first yeah sided yeah. 100% yeah it, every time I drew it tonight I just won I was just yep. like cool Turn skip. Sick. Oh, no, I didn't win against Jake. No, you didn't win I against Because I turn me. skipped against Jake and then was like, I'm I'm still sitting it on just, all my bigs. It was just barrier statue, feather storm, pass, and I just summoned something that had like 1200 punch over the barrier. Which and I was like, pass. well, I can't do anything else, so go for it. Really? And he's like, hmm, I would love to. Why not? <laughs> yeah. I drew my card and was like, huh, this isn't a startup. Sick. Anyway. Again, I, I seem to get tilted by this deck because it has so many starters, and when I don't draw it, I'm like, but Advent just unbricks him. Like, again, when I'm sitting on bigs and Advent just goes, put M Pen there, go get a thing, start up, two can the M Pen back, haha. Yeah. Somebody showed me the other day that you can, at, if they, if they, people are holding the Imperm now for M Pen, and if they, M, if they, if they hold the Imperm so you don't have to use Advent, you can Advent the M Pen and go again. And do, still oh, do yeah, the summon and still can, get the yeah. Two can back, you street the two can and then M pen and and M pen's not once a turn apparently. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, because don't not, know why. Like yeah, the bigs. So aren't I don't know why M pen's not once a turn. I just I never realized that. It's a tribute summon. Like it takes a bit yeah. more to yeah. get to. So like you're like, not going to oh, be tribute fine. summoning a level three three. To oh, sorry, a level seven three times a turn. Yeah. Um, but it was. It, but I thought it was. I went. Oh yeah, actually, it works. <laughs> um, and then it, because they imp, because they impone, you always have a street target, so you can just go street two can. Eh. Yeah, which is cool. Again, play event, not book of moon. But anyway, uh, Ben, your week. My how was, week was your, how was your week in KFC? My week in KFC was fine this mm. week. Yep. My chicken food was cooked. Was cooked. It was pretty good. When uh, I ordered onion rings this week, and uh, they were like, "We need six onion rings," and I was like. They're gonna give me fucking six tiny onion rings. <laughs> Fuck this shit. And then they gave me fucking huge onion rings. You got tie up onions. Yeah, they gave yeah. me like a whole fucking onion. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it was thick. Okay, we'll take this. Good work, Casey. <laughs> they watched the podcast. They heard my rant last week. Yeah. They gave me some Whoever you are, rings. you're a G. Oh, slight sidetrack. Um, I had an abysmal order from Domino's, and like for the first time ever, I put in like one of those oh. like feedback things. Oh no, oh. you're getting old. But that's the thing, like, it was pretty bad. Like, oh, okay. Like, the, I didn't even mention how, like, crappily the pizza was done. But, like, the garlic bread was cold. They tried to hand me a warm Pepsi, and I was like, 
don't know. <laughs> no. I'd like to drink it now. Um, and then they didn't cut the pizza properly either. But then they sent me an email saying, yeah, sorry about this. We've told the store and here's a voucher for a whole nother meal. I was Sick. Like, Sweet. We take that. Yeah. I, I'll do it with Uber drivers. Like, sorry, Uber Eats drivers. Sometimes on the weekend, he just, this dude just left it at a shop, like in front of a shop, like three stores down and said, delivered. And I was like, I was dreading Where's that today. Food? I left my office for like two minutes because I couldn't get a drink with my order from wherever I ordered. So I went to Chico's and got a drink. And it said the order was delivered while I wasn't at the office. And I didn't see anyone because I was like watching the office. I was like, this dude just dropped it off at like just... Wynn Stadium or some shit. And I won't be able to get my food. Thankfully, it was there. So everything was fine. I got Ziggy's because today was mm. the first day they started. Big up, Ziggy's. Yeah. Sponsor um, us. Yo, hold on. That's an idea. Wait, no, we can't hear, we can't hear, we can't hear. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. Uh, <laughs> so the rest of my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, now we get to the part where I played Yu-Gi-Oh! Yep. Went 3-1 at locals, playing Flund. Lost to Jake. Big. Literally every one of my other matches was relatively free. Um, yeah, just opened the nuts. Pretty much all night. Game yep. 3 against Jake Happens. was the only hand up. And even then I still turn skipped him. I just didn't see anything else after. Um, did you end up with those? Um, did you get your harpies from? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Then I played Master Duel. I don't know if you tuned in the live stream. Uh, good live I stream. I tried. <laughs> it's, it's just five hours of me playing solitaire. <laughs> it's uh, sick. Made plat one. Took me five hours. Uh, sixty card. Uh, prank, prank kids FTK no. <laughs> sixty card Gemini FTK. Oh god. How do you really open? good in 60 cards? Yeah. It's fucking busted. You resolve grass, you go like plus eight. <laughs> like, say if you mill vanillas, and you also mill your lazulis, you? that your lazulis trigger and add back the vanillas you milled. You have block dragon. That goes you even more plus. Oh, block dragons. Gemini yeah, okay. fusion adds itself back from graveyard. Um, do you have people quit before you're done? Uh, once I do the second burn, people quit. Okay. So I burn with lazuli, and they're like, Huh, 3k, 3k burn, that's fine. I make the master diamond, clone the Lazuli, burn them, and they're like, <laughs> I see where this is going. And then I summon another master diamond, then they, the okay. that next master diamond like, touches quite board, often, they're, they're especially gone. if it turns really long, I would expect people to be like, <laughs> yeah, no. Because a, a lot of people don't know what the deck does. Mm. They're thinking back to when they were doing solo mode, and they're like, ha, Gem Knights, they do fucking suck. nothing. And then they're dead. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Do you just get ash in the wrong places and stuff oh like yeah, this? Oh yeah, all time. All time. <laughs> I've, I've had people solemn judgment fucking the fusion spell, and it's like, okay, uh, thank you for having your life points. I'm gonna put this back in my hand now and do it again. <laughs> you're, just, you're just helping. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, mate. Like, no Those problem. are the people that didn't play solo mode. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have to play solo mode, people. Free gems and you learn what deck do. Like, there's so much stuff. It's like pissing down rain outside now. Um... It's, it's ambiance. It's ambient music. Um, I don't like the way I said that. Bragg is gonna now close the uh, the door. Uh, yeah, just absolutely free. That card, that deck <laughs> is bastard in sixty cards. <laughs> it's gonna come through great. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Should open my deck. Insane. Resolve <laughs> grass. Screaming. <laughs> Every time I resolve grass, the moment I started plussing, is it, sorry, my is it opponents three or would just one? Scoop. It's one. a three. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Every time I resolved it, my opponents were just no, no. left arm. Uh, no left arm because you need the you need the stuff. Okay. You need okay. the fusion material to actually. Sure. Get you just need to hit it. Just yeah. open it. Did you do much besides locals? Um. Yeah. I was doing. Duel. I was doing some master duel. Um. So. Oh, flat one. Some master yeah. dueling. I'm just playing decks I like. If, like, if I win, I win. But the the most annoying part is like when you verse a deck that you literally just cannot beat. Like Drytron and Bird Try, like mm. going second. You even going first sometimes. Like it's so annoying that they just summon bloody um, not assembled Nightingale, the other one that can attack directly, make Zeus, and then keep playing. It's like, can you fucking not? It's just like sick. Okay. Um, but so yeah, that, that wasn't touched, right? Because oh, we they haven't had a. They've not done today. anything Bird in Master Duel dominate yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like literally everything's at fucking the ratios in there they've got three tanky and shit like i forgot Jesus, that, okay. i forgot the tanky was at three and i was like I looking at tanky. the board state and i was like okay cool like most of his, most of his stuff's in grave he has to like he was literally top decking and i was like okay well like my chances here are pretty good slaps down the tanky i was like you fucking so, yeah. <laughs> so night against kyra she was playing lyra and i opened like i didn't think it was that nutty 
I opened a sales pitch. Diddy Crow? Because I'm playing the one crow. Hold on. A sales ban? Sales, sales ban. Okay, yeah, no. cool. Yeah, cool. sorry. I always get a crow. Sorry. You're playing one crow. That's one interesting. Because it's searchable. Sure. Like, against fucking DPE package. Yeah. Like, if you just get into a board state where you already have... Like, if you open map Rubina, yeah. you add the crow or the barrier statue, whichever you really want to go for, and yeah. then you just crow the DPE. I guess the barrier statue then, is an amazing versus birds. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Then the DP is mandatory, so they have to summon back the Celestial. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, cool. Now That's I just... pretty funny. If I rise, I put the Celestial back on top of the deck, you're not you're drawing. Just, you're just crying. And now. then you're just going to draw a Celestial next turn. Yeah. Like... That's cool. Um, yeah. But I open those two... I uh, crowed the yellow mountain mm. and she was like oh make DP pass and I'm like okay uh, draw for turn activate sales a sales pitch uh, sales ban sales ban yep. yeah uh, declare DP like she, you chain DP right there and then DP touch, can't activate when it touches the grave because it's a new chain yeah. oh okay. yeah it is yeah. right because it, yeah, so you have to let grave, it sit on the board and activate. die yes. either way it's not coming back yeah, yeah it's it doesn't come back it's dead you have well, to either burn it now it does nothing sales ban good card very good card I've been saying it for what four weeks now on the four podcast? weeks straight now yeah, if you have it's a very it good a card it, yeah, it's fair. just a straight answer to anything on the board like definitely play it in flunt because yep. if it's you're free. going second slap it down declare whatever you want just whatever's on the board that's going to be a problem get rid of it Honestly, might have Going out. first, you put in fucking harpies. <laughs> Is it that they just can't activate effects of that card? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. It's a very good card. Um, so yeah, since I hijacked yours and then you hijacked mine, I'll come back to this. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, we're at Plateau. I think rankings were meant to have reset today, but as far as I saw this morning, they hadn't because yeah. I was still a Plateau. So interesting to see where that'll be. Hopefully, I'm a bit lower, like because I think last time I got um, like demoted once rankings reset, I was at like gold five, and it didn't take that long to get back up, even with my fucking shit tier deck. Um, so hopefully, it's a little bit lower, so there's a bit more of a, I don't know, a bit more of a grind at least. Yeah. Some speds. Well, that and I don't really want to verse a fuck ton of Drytron again. Yeah. It's like I'd like a little break from Drytron. Actually, it was super funny, like. As like happy as I was to get to plat two, you can interrupt mm -hmm. me again in a second. I have a question. So. Um, no, yeah, one sec. Um, <laughs> so as fun as it was to get to plat two, my wins to get there was super easy. One of them was blue eyes. I was like, "Why are you here? Yeah, <laughs> are, right. are you lost?" It's somebody that got there, switched to blue eyes, and then went. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but like literally two minutes before I versed this dude, I made a joke about a try dude not reading cards. Um, I popped his blue eyes alternate and he summoned, summoned some blue eyes abyss dragon from his hand it and burned me for like 600. Um, no, it's like the skinny one. It's like a really oh, weird skinny one. It searches a ritual spell or a pot. I don't care. No, I don't know what one it was then because it's not that no, one. It, so it only does that if you have a blue eyes. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, yeah, specifically blue eyes white dragon for the trigger. So. Right, okay. So yeah, I popped his blue eyes alternate, he summoned that, burned me for 600. And he summed it in the same zone as my Mech Knight Red. So I was just like, I'm going to pop it again. Uh, popped it again. Uh, effect one off. I was like, oh, what does that do? Um, blew up my entire ball. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I love the concept of you sitting at your computer like, what the fuck? <laughs> just, I was just huh? like, I had game on board. And I had, I had tactics set. I didn't even need to pop it. I could have just stole it and killed him. Instead, I was just like, ha ha, clicky button. <laughs> The realistic thing is probably at work on his phone in the middle of the office. What I don't, the fuck? <laughs> what? I, I don't play it on my phone. I refuse. Yeah, no. um, it is pretty shit. What yeah. was your question? Uh, my question was, what hand trap do people play in Master Duel that they can just always activate but never do? Um, Maxi? No, no. So I've been Maxi, and it still prompted me to say there's a card in their hand. My theory is they turn on always chain once they Maxi. If they don't have any other hand traps in their deck, they turn on always chain the moment. Oh, they I see what you're saying. So it goes to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I found that too. Because like you get a very distinct um, prompt when your opponent has Nibiru. Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, like yeah. oh. nothing's interrupting you, and then you hit five summons, and it's like throwing to your opponent. You're like, oh no. It's <laughs> 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 the mo so I go the Gemini link. The moment I put the next monster on board, it's always like prompt from the opponent. I'm like. Cool, Nibiru time. Sick. Time time to set up so that the moment I have that rock monster, I just keep playing. <laughs> um, like, 
yeah. There's times I got Max Seed made them draw like 25 cards. <laughs> it's still prompting me, and I'm like, he's got a Nibiru me now. Another summon. Nothing. <laughs> okay, time to burn the first one. Nibiru me now. Nothing. Summon the second one. Goes to his 28th card. You've got a Nibiru me now. <laughs> No. no. Well, the problem is, you never find out what your opponents are playing. Yeah, so it could yeah. be fucking anything. It could be replay. Thunder Dragon Dark. I went into replay to have a look. Can't check my opponent's hand in replay. Yeah, you can check the that deck. Was... Oh, okay. What? Well, you, you can, can confirm the opponent's deck. Yes. yes. Oh, oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Okay. Right. So do some... that. Because you could have just been versing a lot of Thunder Dragon players that had a Thunder Dragon Dark in their <laughs> hand, just... and then just like, <laughs> do, it, do it now. <laughs> there, were, there was <laughs> one match. <laughs> 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 there was one match See, Andrew where, um, enough. fuck me. <laughs> so, there, was, there was one match that I was playing where my opponent went full combo in a trap deck, like went through like 15 cards, okay, sure. set five pass, and I'm like, okay, Sick. activate grass. And he's like, I, I, I did something, got solemn judgment in. And okay. I was like, okay. Halfway there. Activate grass. <laughs> grass resolves for like 35, and I'm like, cool. Start playing and he's like Maxi, and I'm like, I'm gonna make you deck out. <laughs> I'm just gonna deck I think out I was now. there at that point. Yeah. You're just like, how many more times can I summon? Like the burn. I could oh, still do I it. Do I don't think you got there in the end I, in no, the replay I, I had. I was like, I'll inflict the burn and then I'll keep going, and I inflicted the burn, but he'd summoned fucking uh, a conk and a other dude. God oh, Lord. you didn't account for the others in that. So it did 4k him. damage <laughs> and it was game, and I was like. Oh, oh yeah, you, I remember you six cards left. Yeah. I remember you hearing that. You're just like, oh, I didn't get to kill you. <laughs> I, didn't I didn't get, get to take, take you out because <laughs> I still yeah. could like got into more fusion, some block dragon, look back a bunch. Oh, yeah. Um, so as for IRL Yu Gi Oh, um, I've moved on from McKnight's in real life, and I'm on the Adagnistics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so I'm on Adagnistas. I don't know if people hate that deck. Um, Lachlan yeah, thinks it's shit, towers. but it's very good. Towers. Um, I really was the Towers Pops a card today. Yeah, it, I, it I actually does a thing. I the Towers popped. I was uh, like... Wait, that he, Towers or my Towers? His Towers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I had two level ones on board, and I was like, it's okay, Jake's in main phase two. Can't yeah, I had me. to beat over the barrier statue to, yeah, to then get play, anywhere. Yeah. I was like, it's okay. It's, it's main two. He doesn't have a pop. I'm just going to make a Zeus next turn. And then get rid of the Mask of Restrict, and then summon a fucking shit on him. And then he's like, pop, and I'm like, fuck, I can't get another one! Wait, I can't <laughs> board. Fuck this! <laughs> Wait a minute! Yeah. Still, another example of not using the extra deck in that deck. Still, I've still never done it. I've not done it once. I'm convinced it could be 15 tokens, but I have to play extra. So. Cherries, 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 cherries. Yeah, genuinely, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, yeah when, when I saw you drop the cherries today, I was like, why are more Flunder players doing that? It's just, I, I dropped just... the cherries and I was like, I'm gonna call Rusty. Look at my extra deck. I'm like, I forgot to put in a fucking Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> so I just did uh, Verte. And he was like, I was like, did you open the Fusion Destiny? He was like, nope. Good. Good. Perfect. Um, yeah, so I think both days I went X1. Um, my hand in the last game was so fucking triggering. I had two of the one of fucking search spells. So I was like, I have most of the combo, but you need to open literally just one of either the spell searcher or the monster searcher, and that's everything. But if you um, open the searcher for one of those and no other monsters, then your hands fucked. You, <laughs> just you, you, you actually can't do anything. Um, so yeah, and then like the fucking prank brave player just opened the literal nuts. I had the call by for the monster as opposed to Ash because like he's like, oh yeah, I'll chain block. Haha, <laughs> call by opened fucking um like pandemonium with two perfect cards oh, and I was like oh, can you no. fucking not oh. so fucking AIDS um anyway but yeah um maybe a profile once they tweak it a little bit I think a couple mm -hmm. of things need to change cross out good yeah cross out I've, real I've good. seen it pop up again uh in a couple of lists so I was like okay Imagine Ben saying this for the past six months and everyone being like, no, it's okay. Hey, I knew aren't you just trying good. to justify spending way too it much money on cross out? Because in that group chat, everyone else was writing cross out. I'm like, no, I don't know. It's pretty good. I've been playing everything. <laughs> yeah. It just stops everything. I don't like. Oh, that was the other interaction I had with it too. Um, I was versing Lewis on Sunday and we're going into game three. 
and I looked at, and I'd like, I'd chosen to go first. I looked at the gamma that I had as a cross out target, and I was like, this will be fine. <laughs> yeah. I won't need it. What's that? Um, started playing, summoned the monster searcher, immediately got gammed. Thought that I'd thought I'd sighted it in. So I went to put the cross out on the board, double checked the side, saw the gamma was still there, and I was like, fuck, I actually needed this to resolve to play. Dun, dun. Uh, so yeah, now I've gotten into a habit of like, if I think they could be playing it, it's They're going in as a target. Are you citing the one driver? No. Coward. Coward. Well, you draw it. <laughs> no, I refuse. Coward. Uh, unless I draw, sign out mining, yeah. it's just going to be sitting in my hand doing fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah, fair call. Why not? Not about it. Alright. Um, yeah, so that concludes our week in Yu-Gi-Oh, which felt like a, a podcast in itself. Yeah, um, it was a good podcast. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we can't. No, no, I don't need to, dude. I've only heard his nose and his tone are dead. To be fair, my ears are also fucked. Yeah. Um. So, um, Master Duel. We had the Exes Festival. It is now over. Big Sag. Rest in peace, Suicide Simulator. Thankfully, that didn't keep going. Like, it's just really funny though I feel like they should have just allowed it unfortunately it transitioned to the other thing and I think I brought this up last week where people just playing like non-exe fucking like cancer fucking you can't play decks oh, like okay. people just, just start playing pacifist because it's just like Sick. yeah I don't need my extra deck fucking Z. I realised they're going to do a fusion festival and yep. I'm going to have to link to search Gemini fusion <laughs> I'll just play grass yeah grass get my Gemini fusion fully burial goods yep happy days Golly. there's options there's Some options be- I don't know all right, then I have a legitimate reason to play Alistair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. I've had that deck sitting there since very early on. Could except... you not just play it instead of all the trash you're playing? Yeah, but it's not as fun. Like, I've played Alistair for fucking how long? And I have ac- literal access to every card that I could yeah. ever want to play, so I want to play something different. So you play a deck you have in real life just worse? It is slightly worse, but there's Maxi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh, uh, so someone did... commented on your match, uh, saying that you should be playing Sengen to search orange. Yeah, and look, I do that in Master Duel, but the reason I didn't do that in real life is because um, I have Gears with three. Yeah. Did they replace um, the XE Festival with anything new, or did they just not? Go... Yeah, but there is going to be more festivals. Like sure. they will be doing um, Synchro and Fusion mm-hmm. festivals. Um, I don't think there's a ritual or um, link festival. Thank fuck. Do you reckon they ban Master Diamond for the Fusion Festival? Yep. <laughs> Maybe. Like, cause they kind of have to allow Eldritch to be in there, cause Eldritch has a fusion. Yeah, you don't. Need to I mean, yeah. Didn't we all laugh about that fusion when it came out? I mean, kind of. I actually don't know what it does. I just know I, it's. Big. I actually don't mind it in Master Jewel. I, I it's won't, not I won't that lie. Bad. I remember pulling it when it came out, and we all like there was four of us there. We sit there and read it, and we all just laughed. <laughs> like, we were all just like cackling to ourselves because it was terrible. Greg, right, what it do? I turned it in and buy three the other day. Uh huh. They're just cheap. They are cheap. I yeah. Don't recall them, else. <laughs> you don't remember what it does either. Fantastic. Okay. Don't care. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do there. Um, speaking of interesting, um, via the YouTuber mcall 40 uh, we have news of a possible data mined, or data mined, however you pronounce it, uh, supposed ban list. Now, we've done some searching and we cannot find any confirmation of this anywhere else. Nobody else has talked about it. So, take this with a grain of salt. He says we, but two of the three at this table have not conducted this. But here's the thing. We! It, it lets us we. put it lets us put ban list in the title, more views. So um, here we are. Also but even the existence of a ban list change in like the metadata, even even if the changes do change again and it's not the final list, it's interesting to know that they're already doing something. It should be it would be interesting and like we'll read through these and you can sort of comment on what you think they will do in Master Duel. Um, so first off, uh, we have Zodiac Dryden to zero. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Fuck sure. off. Don't yeah. like Zoo. Bin. Uh, next one is VFD to zero. Oh, Good. Move your phone because yep. I get the. I get the. Oh, you get the. Oh, you want, VFD you want me to read to it zero. out? Here we go. Um, good. Yeah, should be. Uh, I will oh, say though. Oh, this is like your fucking car ban list where you're just like good, good, 
bad. Why? <laughs> Why? Um, uh, somebody came in on a Saturday. Um, I guess him and his brother. They were saying how expensive our foolish barrel of goods was. That's why I perked up when you said that. I don't know what that means. I think it's a two hour card. Expensive in. I, I don't know. No idea. I think they were playing at the time it just came out, so they did break. Anyway. Oh. They didn't, when it just so, came so out, it was like 10 months. To... So, Nobody okay, used so it when it first came out. Reprint Foolish Barrel Goods. Reprint Foolish Barrel oh, yeah, Goods. We need another one. So, um, we... Specifically Super. The other thing is that um, one of them was a virtual world player, and he sat there for like five minutes being like, I can't believe they got rid of King Calamity. And I was like, my guy, it, it read that, that card. Was a clean skip. And he was just like, yeah, but you know, now I don't know what to like play and and it, I was it's like, almost bro. like you can make a macro fucking cosmos and then put a fucking dragoon on your end board with whatever the fuck you want yeah i was like bro there's there's options hey um, oh oh and he uh i watched his mind explode when i told him desires was it one <laughs> he was like he was like oh well, we can't full prosperity we just get three desires and i went and he and i was like how many have you got and he goes one i'm like you've got the play set and he goes what like, <laughs> uh we have called by the grave at one no! TCG. I shouldn't have bought my second. Uh, TCG. I and the, here's the thing. Hopefully they Hearthstone it. I don't know. They give you the dust back. That would be interesting. That was brought up sure. at the very start. Confirmed. Interesting to see what they do there. Like some people are definitely making some bank. Like fucking every Dryden player. There was. There was a. Can you craft multiple rarities? No, you no. craft the one and it rerolls. So there, yeah, I got lucky and got Royal. Dryden. So, oh fuck! I don't want them to hit Dryden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that what it's called? I never knew what it was called. Because yeah, yeah. in if royal you... and glossy. Yeah, yeah. I've got a few royals. Most of the royals that I ended up getting, I just fucking dusted immediately because I'm like <laughs> extra don't... extra currency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Like, I think I'm... I think the only card I've kept like as a royal rare was like a macabre. I got a Macabre as a Royal Rare, which I was like, this is a sign. I'm still not doing it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got a Fire Fist Monster, and I was like... Oh, the one that annoyed me, I got a Royal Rare of a card from a Legendary pack. I was like, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't scrap it. Yeah. Oh, I got, a I got a few Royal Rare of um, Taraz. Oh, yeah. The XE Festival. Sick. Oh, or I have Tiris. seven copies of that card. Yeah. <laughs> seven. Let me, I'm, let me no. delete it. Oh, just in general. Yeah, yeah. Just in general. Like, I am all, f like, sure, give me a shit pack and give me shit cards in it. But give me some variants in my shit. My Xyz deck for the Xyz Festival had eight cards in it. Because I couldn't play any other Xyz and I didn't want to craft any. And I wanted to pull some from the packs and I kept getting a rank five. I couldn't fucking play. Why were you just playing Prosp? <laughs> because Prosp was illegal. It was banned. I thought it was le what one was legal. You were the person who said you this. said it was banned last week. You brought you up that play you tried to Paleo put it in the deck. Toad, and you're like, you oh, went to put it in yeah. the deck, and you said it was banned. Yeah. All right, call by. All right, yeah, next one. I, I bought it just for the event. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's I, only, I need it for Dragon Maid. It's yeah. fine. It's only a super. It's fine. Um, next one is uh, Cyber Age of Ben Ten. He's been to it one three. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can put it Drytron's down. fucking so consistent. Yeah, it's beyond fucked how consistent that deck is. So yeah, Ben Ten to one for sure. Uh, we have uh, Tanky going to one. Yeah, they're mirroring. They're mirroring our format. It right? it is Realistic quite similar way. to our format, except for this. Uh, cross out designated to two. Oh, pff, go away. That's just a flip reverse of what the OCG has. They have if one they cross have out, two, two, two call by. by one cross out. Yeah. Uh, next one we sure. have Soul Eating Over Raptor back to three. No. No, they want dinos <laughs> to be a thing. <laughs> Fuck off. Is Misk? I guess they're... Misk is still at three. I guess their idea is VFD's gone. Like that's the only reason they they let, would be doing. Let that. dinos ride because yeah. Oh, that's right. Dino VFD thing was. Ah, uh, yeah. Denglong is Deng still Long legal. Death. Like that's the only thing I can think of. But then they've got a whole other plethora of I think, shit they can do. I think Ovi being a one was the only reason that Isaac hadn't been playing. Because he's like, <laughs> dinos aren't good with them. <laughs> you have three misses. Shut the fuck up. And three possibly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then we have Red MD going back to three. It has the errata in there. Yeah, sure. Sure. That's cool. Fine. Uh, e Telly to three. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So we have E Telly to three, right? We do. Two? Yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, so, give Virtual that people World the bones and threw away their wing pond. Um, and that is it for the uh, supposed ban list. So let us know wow, your thoughts. That's small. It is small. It is a small list. 
But like, but, but <laughs> is this going to be? But the, I think the more important thing is: is this going to be accompanied with other stuff? Like, oh, them releasing other stuff so, in yeah. theory, because that then changes the format more drastically than just a very small list. I am currently subscribed to the theory that we will not receive any more cards and any more fan list updates until the battle pass resets. When does the battle pass reset? Thirty days. Oh yeah. So, start of April. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense, because most games with a Battle Pass operate in seasons, wow. and yeah. then when the season resets, the Battle Pass resets. I think that... Like, everything does this. They're so. going to treat the game that way, in that it, each format is a Battle Pass. I, I won't lie to you, if the people who've developed Master Duel have just, like, sat in a room and gone, financially, what is the best way to develop a video game right now? And you look at Fortnite, Apex, COD... Um, there's so many other examples that I'm blanking um, they just have a bit they have a season pass that lasts until X amount of time yeah. at the end of that they make a new season put new content in go and just rinse and repeat and yeah. so yeah it, it would make sense and it would be back it does make hard. a lot of business sense too because obviously you've spent the 600 gems on the battle pass so as incentive for people to buy in again freshen everything up do you so... get gems from the battle pass can you you, can you, it effect, it Re- effect, yeah, yeah, you can recycle it as long yeah. as you've played enough and that's what they want you to do not they don't care about the, the gems I finished the battle pass like before I'd even gone to platinum wow yeah, it was, it really was, qu- it yeah, was quite easy cool. to finish the battle pass to be honest um, what else was I going to say yeah but it makes sense for them to do like an entire refresh so new ban list new product it's new still interesting we pass. haven't I haven't said anything about that though yeah and we it's haven't said anything about anything <laughs> yeah, it, that's, it's interesting the because, game just exists and we're just like thank because, you yeah, because, yeah <laughs> and this is the thing like I don't understand like when at what point do they go ah I keep playing because like oh grind to save gems because you're gonna need them for this it's like they're taking a very Konami TCG approach to this in that things just happen yep. and be glad that they do why, why <laughs> don't games that do that? Yep. Yep. Don't you have to have... Uh, isn't there a time limit as well on the free gems that you own? Don't they expire? I wouldn't know, Ben. Uh, my, um... <laughs> my free gems don't sit there for long. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's very fair. I burnt all mine, but I'm sitting here like... What if they expire when the battle oh, passes? Is... That oh, way you have no to... Way. It wouldn't make sense, because there's nothing about that. It would be so though. Konami, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> No oh, free for you. Sorry, guys. All those free no, gems no, we no. gave you in season one. But like, ma- uh, uh, sorry, not Master Duel. Um, Duel Links wasn't amazing with a lot of stuff, especially getting cards. But I felt like the events and stuff I had, and like new, pro- and like, yeah. it, were, it was pretty consistent. To like, every time I logged in, there was a thing I could go do, and I expect Master Duel to get to that point where they're like, and they seem to be like generating enough stuff. It is just the the cards I care about. And I'm like, when can I play the deck I want to play? Please. You just want a bird. I just want to summon birds. And then you want to upload the deck profile being like, plat one bird. However, however, gripe with Omega, I literally can't get the bird combo to work on Omega. I've tried in private games, I've tried, I don't know if I'm doing, but I've sat with like, Loz, I've sat with Lewis, every time we play Flunders on, on Omega, I cannot get the chain link to resolve to chain block Ash. Why? I don't know if I'm being stupid. Okay, um, we cannot do it. So, I believe in the OCG you can't chain block. Mm, that might be why. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that would make sense. And that's why they've ruled it so that um, you can't do the multi-role Shizuku play. Yeah. Oh, right. Where Shizuku... Uh, Shizuku like, adds add you. Yeah. And then, that, add you do yes. that. I think Master Duel and stuff is designed I on an OCG that. ruling. And I'm fairly sure in the I OCG you can't well. chain block. You can respond to every chain link. Interesting. That's interesting. I wonder what yeah. master. I wonder what master all takes. Then. Like that's probably also why cross out and shit was so popular over there. Oh True. right, because at any point you can just go crack, crack. Very crack. true, and yeah, that's probably why. I genuinely least... think it makes the deck way worse. Yeah. Oh yeah, not being able to chain block every one of your effects kind yeah. of sucks. Yeah. yeah. Master Duel, please. Please. We'll see how it comes out. Don't be cowards. It's interesting, though, that Flunderies have done as well as they have done in the OCG. They haven't, not realistically. There was... Done okay. When they were coming no. out, there were tops. The, yeah. So when they came out, there was tops on, like, that first initial weekend. Then it kind of died off a bit. And then it only 
came it, back into power because it countered the meta very well. I, yeah, I saw yeah, 10 right. to 16% on yeah. um, thingy. At, at the moment, that. it counters also, the meta very well. Again. random thing is that I feel like... I don't know if you've seen... I just... When I see it, I notice. Um, since coming out, I haven't really seen many lists or many events posted with a top 8 or top 16, and I haven't really seen Flunders in that list. In the last, like, two weeks, I've seen them pop up, like, five or six times. Yeah, because you're Advent now. Yeah, like, genuinely, I think Advent... Like, it, I'm without seeing two or three in the top eight. Without thinking about it, I was about to say it's the Advent of having the new card nice. without realising what the King. card King. was actually called. I just know it's the Flunder spell. I didn't yeah, remember yeah. what it was called. Advent of Adventure. Also, um, random tidbit, that sucks to write on a deck list. Oh, my God. Writing that deck list was so egregious. It, bro, I, I ended up like, I wrote on the back F L O W equal flu wonderies, and I just, and then even with not having to write the full flu wondery, it still barely fit. And I was like, I hate this. Okay, so for someone who's had pain writing anything <laughs> from the ages of four to 32 <laughs> right. and will continue for the rest so of my life, house. just put it on your fucking computer. Just put it, yeah. There's PDFs. Very easy. Yeah. But I don't own a printer. Like, I don't have a printer. You work at a place that has a printer. No, we don't. We got rid of it like four months ago. Eight months ago, even. Ages ago. Yeah. I had someone the other day look at my handwriting and they're like, how can you be such a perfectionist and have that shit come out of your hand? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, maybe that's why your eidetic memory doesn't work with text because, like, you can can barely read read your own writing. I can't read text in my brain. (laughs) (laughs) So you can't read text. Lachlan can't imagine any image. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, anyway. I'm opposite Lachlan. We've had this discussion before. You are the anti Lachlan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Um, let's continue <laughs> on before my phone fucking dies because yep. it's close. Um, so, f- for some reason, there's about information birds. about <laughs> um, that. Welcome back to the bird cast. What? Oh, there's information about Pokemon Wait, that I don't care about. Oh, yeah. What? Damn it, I nearly got him to say it. Oh, uh, what is it? What is it? Nope. Is it just new set coming up? Yeah. If you're, yeah, yeah, if you're in the Brisbane no. area and you're going to the Brisbane Pokemon event, uh, oh, yeah. come and see some of the guys from the podcast. Blake Space. There'll be... Bragg will be there too. He's waving, if I remember to yeah. splash this in. His right. official greeting being that his name is Blake Goes Face you is punch to him. punch him. Yeah. <laughs> punch yeah, him in the face. That's a play. But if I dodge you, you owe me a card. You have, to, you have to give me your rarest card. Your rarest card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no product for either TCG or SCG this week. Cause it's one of the few uh, there we, was we an announcement of up, right? the uh, Jesse... No, I'm saying there's no product. Oh, yeah. There's, yeah, like, no, there's nothing. No, no weed manga promo, no nothing. Yeah, nothing of that sort. Oh, mm. you were going to say the Crystal Beast Day? But yeah, Crystal Beast Day. Why'd you start with Jesse? Like, fuck the guy that used it. Oh, yeah, yeah weirdly, I went to start enough, saying his know, name and then forgot what his last name was. No, I, I won't lie to you. So that Crystal Beast deck, Loz spoke to me about when it was in now or when it was in the OCG like months ago uh, and he said quote um, with this support I can make a deck that can make a rank 4 90% of the time and I went sick oh this is probably the old way of support ah uh, yeah because ne- the structure company just got announced in the no uh, but it's the one with I'm gonna ask it's, it's some spell that allows him to summon two and I was like I don't give a fuck yeah, probably. I I, don't there care, was bro. some old support I like, just don't care like yeah. They've got like if you look outside of what they actually do, the support for them is actually really good. It like enables them to do most of their shit. It's Unfortunately, most of their shit is crap. Yeah, like yeah. fundamentally, the way the deck functions is dog shit. It's just <laughs> bad. It's just bad. But also, like, when's the um more? It's a way better like cards. When does the Albert structure deck come out? It Next got month? delayed. It got delayed. Oh really? I have to wait even longer to do different fusion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's uh, 13th of April now? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. That would... Uh, does that put it in ban list time frame? Probably. When the ban list coming again? Who cares? First of Feb? We don't know. No. I can't remember when the, the ban list came out. The ban list effective 1st of Feb, I think. Effective. Oh, yes. We have like a March week and a half. Yeah, it was fine. Okay, so it's like <laughs> May. So I, I effectively get half a month before they potentially start hitting problems if it, yeah, like, but if it goes bonkers yeah, like, yeah if sure. it comes out the gate and it's just like oh this is oppressive as fuck we'll, we'll see what the ruling is on that graveyard effect yeah I, I really need to know that which well no one said anything um, yet yeah so in the OCG they ruled that cards like goddess with the third eye and um like light hex and things like that that copy a name of a monster when you're using it for fusion material mm. don't trigger in grave 
So it doesn't count as the naming grave. Yeah. Correct. It so, stops them from going full bonkers. Okay. Yeah. So with that rule, you can't make a Dragoon of two cards. So, but if a card copies a name in grave or wherever it copies it from, doesn't matter. And then that card hits the grave. At what point are you asking if it stay has the name still? It's basically whenever it's in the grave, it can't then use its effect to copy a name. It has to be on field to be able to use the effect. Is what they're saying. Or I'm, I'm assuming in hand as well because polymerization also uses from hand, so you just shoot that. Oh, does it? Does it? Sorry, it banishes the card, from grave to fusion. Yeah, does summon, the card and just generically that. say this card? This can card count can be as... yeah. This card can be treated as any named card on a fusion card. Interesting. So in the OCG, they've ruled that, that it cannot do that in grave. That's weird, mm -hmm. and I can definitely see an argument to say that it does because it it has no relevance to being on the field. But you're I get doesn't yeah. activate either so like i may need notes on another phone in fact i do my phone is dead announce the um announce the next topic brag <laughs> studio guy brag hidden arsenal it is so we're oh, going to discuss yeah. the rarity printings in new hidden arsenal i can get it up um we can get it up is it not is it not good yeah got, uh also brag we went through this maxes. do you want me to give you the guy's name yeah cool yeah so at first, it was looking kind of grim that they were reprinting Hidden Arsenal for a lot, like the fourth time or something. I still something. think it's a fucking waste. Like... It is a waste, but they've tried to entice people by the... reprinting Terminal Rares, oh. dual Terminal Rares. Are we ready for Ben's rant for today? Hit oh, me! so ready. Oh, this is a, pr to... this oh, is a pretty basic rant. Yet. My rant for today is that this dual Terminal set is just fucking here so that they can wait another three to six months to reprint all the good shit that was in Legendary Duelist 5 and 6. That's what, the soul. What was purpose? the legendary duel of five or six? Uh, Magician uh, Souls, fucking all Liquid Man, yeah. all yeah, the good okay. hero stuff, um, all the good DM stuff. Uh, in the other one, podcast? you've got the hero yeah. stuff. Yes, they got reprinted, but like, yeah, okay. those solid final reprints just got delayed oh, just so that added. we can print this shit. Is this is a completely shit set? Um, it is. And it's an absolute it's dog order. Just there, so that they can stretch out the the reprint time. That's yes. it. And yeah, like to justify they've like put in the. Did they really put Trish in here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. fuck it, idiots. They reprinted all. What of is that shit? Cards. That's they reprinted reason. all of them. But so no, no this is what I this is what I fucking despise, right? Okay, I'm oh, I'm I'm here with you now. <laughs> here's the here's no, here's yeah. the fucking thing. I don't understand, right? So what you're telling me is you're gonna allow because they know every ulti in your game to be worth four hundred dollars if it's even mediocrely playable. Or it just didn't get a reprint. So like Tanky, for example, is fucking four hundred dollars. Dark Horse five hundred. But you're gonna reprint DT Trish, which is a three hundred dollar card, just to fuck whatever collectors have it. Because I don't know. Get like if Trish was a playable card right now, and that we didn't have a million printings of it, I understand printing that. Like sure, but you're copying the rarity of the card just to fuck collectors. Kind of. I think that it has ultra rare text. Yeah, yeah it's ultra yes. rare. And it still it does. DT Trish is ultra, isn't it not? Is it not? No, all the, the DTs were the same. No, okay. they're not. The DTs have different rarities. There's rare DTs, there's ultra DTs. Like, the, I don't um, remember having yellow text though. I I maybe not yellow text, but it's definitely, definitely ultra. They def I, I swear to God, I, if I'm wrong, I hate my life. Uh, DT but still. Really know, but, but you've still got the set code and also all their new rare, like all their new high rarity stuff looks like fucking trash. Yeah. The original DT will should so, maintain us. So fucking coloured rare DTs? Throw that shit um. in the bin. <laughs> 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 this set is just so dog savage. Shit. Put it like, in the bin. Just fucking it's solely here so they could delay the reprints again because they wanted to put it in brothers. Yeah. So it's it's an ultra. So that's the normal DT Trish. That's okay. the OG D2 Trish. It's an ultra. And oh, then there's like okay. anti spell fragrance and shit. Like, oh, sorry. Skill drain is just a rare, but a DT. Yeah, um, that's the thing I was going to. Yeah, they've just got a rare. Now it's a DT. Ultra. Ultra. That's not bad. See, don't mind that. They're, they're, it's just a rare. We need another printing of, of skill drain Prince because all of them are all of them are fucking $30 plus. Everyone who wants to play skill drain is like. A weak brain person. Hey, yeah, who, it's true. Who realistically <laughs> sit, <laughs> they, they sit at the table it's and they go, you "Listen here, chicken what, man. What's the cheapest way I can stop my opponent from playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. Just give him a fucking comment. 
Yeah, like, they don't need look, look. They don't need them. They don't need it to look nice. Can I have a look at the? Hold on. I mean, it was a it I'm gonna fuck it. I hate you. Yeah, All just right, give sure, them another comment though. Fine. Yeah. Paladin. I was gonna read through them and you can react. There's to them so them. many though. Can There's you be fucked? Really? There's no point to read this. Also, list. all of the ice dragons are on there. Was D- DT Brio a thing? Okay, yeah, it's, all it, of it's just I don't remember it because Brio, Gunganir, and uh, Dulor uh, all had DTs. Yes. What did. Huh? Dulor? Oh, okay, cool. I thought you said Durandale for a second. I was like, no, oh. that's not what that is. No, <laughs> yeah, that's not like Mountain Dew. Yeah. We're taking the elves to Isengard. <laughs> um, um, we also have some gosh, import gosh. cards. We've got uh, Dragoonity Gurusame. Sick. Uh, Arm Dragon, the Arm Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It says armored, but it th- I thought it'd be funny to say arm dragon, the arm dragon. Uh, um, pile arm dragon. Deep sea repertoire. I heard someone pronounce this so fucking bad. Repertoire. No, no. Repertoire. No, they didn't try to pronounce it French. They just decided to add in an extra syllable where it wasn't like. They did like repetitoire. And I was like, D- no. <laughs> That's not what it is. Um, beyond that, we've also got Armory R reprint in Secret Rare, Power Tool in Secret Rare, and Formula Synchron in Secret Rare. Sick. Formula sure. Synchron in Secret Rare would be nice. I mean, it already had a secret, so again, just fucking over people Wait, that already had it. Foiling of it? Oh, it was a bendy one. Yeah. They warp real easy. Oh, yeah, because new it's secrets aren't bendy. Who cares? It was yeah, one of the ones that bent like, it's really easy. Who you left it out, and the temperature was below 20 Dude, degrees I, Celsius. Bent. I thought we had. I'm literally swiftly moving on from this. I thought we had more announcements of what's in the 20... 20- oh no, we have the sets. That they don't do included. promos anymore. They've done promos in years. What? That's so crap. I'm just saying, I thought we oh. knew more of the cards that were oh. in the tin, but we know the sets. Yeah, we know the sets. Yeah, yeah, we know the sets. It's this like Blazing, Vortex, Lightning Overdrive, two other sets I don't give a shit about. Yeah, this is all we ever know now. Okay. This, this is it. Because we're like assuming pros, I guess, if they really want to sell the set. <laughs> Um, yeah. Zeus it kind maybe. of well, based on your theory, it should be in there, right? Divine. Oh, yeah, uh, you'd see that would be not normal theory, but they didn't do that last year. Last year they cut out a bunch of shit. Extra was in there. No, they, no, like, no. So they, but they so really pulled extra. We're talking yeah. about the twenty twenty two mega tin. Sorry, I didn't make that clear. Yeah, twenty twenty one mega tin. Yes, they took out lightning storm. Oh, they were like, they did. Yes, we need to have lightning storm to sell an earlier set. Uh, Prosp came out in one of the early sets from last year, so it will probably be in Ghost from the Past Extra. or oh, whatever yeah. our like point five set is, like that, like the mini deck building sets. Oh. It'll it'll be in the set Dragon with the fucking so buttons. I don't like it. The banishy deck, the deck out banishy, mm. whatever you call it. It'll be in that. They'll, we, Prosp will be in there. It'll we'll for another battles. Of, uh, call it right now. Yes, battles isn't until the end of the year. Oh, that's really weird. Because Brothers was our battle. So gotcha. it's December. So it won't be until the end of the year. Um, oh, but yeah. Um, Frost gets reprinted there. Not in the Mega Tin. Oh it, God, yeah, when it doesn't dollars. hit the Mega Tin, it goes up to $200 a card for a couple months. And then... What was the card that's doing... I think it's Lightning Storm that's doing that at the moment. Where Is it going up? Yeah, because it didn't get printed in the Mega Tins, but it got printed in like the half set. In like the deck. Yeah, it had set. like the Ultra slash... Um... Yeah, I did get the ultras, so that's weird. I got yeah. the ultras so cheap. I think those are gone up now. There's another card that happened last year with the mega tins that's like that as well. Because last Jeez year, almighty, it all is. of the what good the cards fuck? they took out that's and put them into those earlier sets. Sixty six US for the normal and eighty US for the um, secret. Yeah, damn, hundred dollars. Storm was back up. Yeah, eighty and hundred somewhere there. I can see until they cross again this year. The hmm? reason why I kind of had it highlighted in there as well is the. Are we done with this tin stuff? Will we get back to normal promo tins? I'm so sad. Mega tin season Hopefully. used to be sick. It used to be like so nice. Now we're done their tablet gimmick. Yeah. They've got to come up with something else. No, this is one's the gods, right? Yeah, You've got Ra Obelisk. Tablet, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's meant to finish yeah. the tablet. The, yeah. This will be the last tablet piece. We haven't had promos for the entire set of the tablet. Um, wasn't the first tablet? The first one pro- had it. The first one was an Ibiru one, wasn't no. it? First oh, one, no, that's just first one was Dragoon. Oh, it's the puzzle one. That's it. Yeah. Yep. The first one was the the year like, that Dragoon was in it, I and they just didn't put it in there. Yeah, I don't hate it, but like, why? They, it's it's. I don't understand again why this is just a bigger conversation of like them not them just like running around like if I can't see the secondary market, it can't see me, and then just being like, yeah, people are gonna pay one hundred eighty dollars for Pros, and we're gonna laugh at them for doing so. It's like I don't. You all know how expensive this game is. Get fucked. Like, and we're getting this shit reprinted 
in DT sets and stuff like this. Just to stretch out other reprints. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. uh, like, I would rather see, like, a DT pros. Sure. And then you keep the you keep the value on the Briar. Like, there's Look investment alive, cards. So ugly. DT, DT Ultra Pros would be ugly as shit, which means, fine, you reward the people for having secrets and starlights no problem and then it is and then it's still a 80 dollar card that actually sells this set versus maybe having it in the tin i i imagine we're gonna get it in the tin. like we re we really should get it in the tin when you look at last year but the tin's still in it, september right i think shit. this tin Versus is just going to be dominated its value from versa destiny yeah there's not going to be any value coming from those previous sets because those previous sets relatively garbage there wasn't that much good stuff I in think it. Diviner cops a reprint oh Diviner will get a reprint yeah it probably kind be of one of the ones in the Megatin yeah. yeah like all of these cards will get reprinted the issue is what makes it to the Megatins in time because you've still got Ghost from the Past needs some kind of money card from the previous year as a reprint mm -hmm. you need something in there you need to put something into each of the two sides side and not main set but like our TCG exclusive set mm -hmm. you've got to fill those with good cards what was and then previous... you get to the mega tins for the leftovers. What was that previous deck build pack? Because they started putting like the they put the deck build cards in. Our deck build pack was the one that we got uh, adventure in. Do we? Oh, yeah, Grand no, I was going to say before it. Oh, the one before that. Do we have um, that was... was Ancient Guardians? The yeah, that was snakes. 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 Yeah. And the snakes were reprinted. No, this. Oh, they reprinted some snake stuff. Oh wait. No, those snakes will be in our mega tins this year. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. The, yeah, yeah, they're going to be in the mega. They'll be in the mega tins. Did we? Do, is there any relevant reprints in the Arbat structure, or is it just the, nothing confirmed for the TCG? Because it's like yeah, good yeah, cut. Because yeah. I know that like Dark Ruler, for example, is like okay, cool. We put it in, sell the whatever. But and you you say this like there isn't enough good cards, or maybe you're not saying it. But there's the, there's not the, enough good cards that came out in the past year in the main sets to yeah. fill the mega tins and those previous sets and all of these sets that are going to come before. Yeah. It. I mean. Because like you strip, you've got right. Oh, because Bode's not counted. Lightning Overdrive. Oh, yeah. Bode is counted. Oh, I think right, that okay. will be what populate. That's what gives the value to the Megatins. Sure. So you could look at DPE. Yeah, that's solely whatever is in Burst of Destiny. I think is what will sell the Megatin. It's just DPE, right? DPE. Am I stupid? Flunders. DPE. Uh, no. Yeah, Flunder. I. Uh, you've got Sword Soul Call. Oh um, yes, of course, of course. Mo Yi, Mo Yi. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. See Yo, the Braves, and then they limit them in the September ban. I don't see them putting Brave in there. I think it's way too soon yeah, for them to be doing Brave. Secret, oh, he's secret funders. <gasps> uh, Probably. I need you to stop. What would they secret? All funders. The, bird, the little birds. Ravina. All the little birds. The field spell, the field spell, spell would be nice Ravina. and secret. God, no. But fuck, I want them to. They'll print common Ravina. And yeah, they will. Oh. I'll just They'll be like, I'll, now you've got I'll, it all in common. I'll be like, I'll now you've got it all in go fuck yourself. yourself. <laughs> Empen's gonna be an ultra, yeah. It's a, a four dollar card, bro. Like, wait, it already has an ultra. Empen, it does. It does. You're actually right. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, yes, yeah, it won't. Yeah, let's have an ultra rare. It'll be Ult snail. Ultra snail. Ah. It'll be snail and no Empen reprint. <laughs> Empen's a five dollar card. Who yeah. gives a shit? Also, you say what, that, um, but is... one of the Ignista cards didn't get reprinted as a rare, and it became it's, seven dollars. Oh, okay, yeah. I, gonna... I will. I will. I won't. Uh, I bleeding up plunders yet again. What does map do? We're well, going to get to that. We're okay. going to get to that in a second. Uh, then we're going to finish this product talk, then we're going to talk about it. Yeah, Yeah. okay, so we'll do that before we get into comments. Okay. Cool. Um, are we done with product? We're done yeah, with I product. mean, that's the product news. Cool. We've we'll, our rants. As more, as more things get announced or not get announced for, like, where these reprints will come up, we'll work, out, work it out then. But until then, we don't have anything to speculate on because, again, they're probably just going to leave shit out for the sake of it and then we're going to cry. Yep. Yep. YCS! Um, so I did have um, lists and things, but uh, phone dead. Um, but basically, we have our winner with a sixty card oh, throw together brave fucking whatever whatever. It's sixty um, card throw together brave doesn't know what map does. Yes. So <laughs> what does map do, Blake? Um, well, actually, it does like a bunch of different stuff. So if I'll explain it for the fourth time, you might find out. Yeah, but yeah. I'll read you one effect to... at a time. What does and map then... do? Oh. But. Yeah. Birds, 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 that's birds, fine. Birds, that's birds, fine. Birds, that's fine. You Wait, what? what are you doing? Are you resolving map? Hold on. Hold on. I, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Wait. What? You resolve the map? <laughs> Wait a minute. What does map do? On resolution. Oh, no. Keep going. <laughs> Wait. You resolve the map. 
So if you're a bit confused as to what's happening <laughs> here, stupid. um, Put there the has been an accusation of slow play against accusation. The... <laughs> accusation to time the fucking game. No, no, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yes. There's been an accusation that the uh, 60 card pile pilot was uh, slow playing his opponent by asking what the same cards did multiple times uh, and therefore drawing out the game. Um, so, for me, this is like a neither here nor there kind of thing. Sure, he may have cheated, he may not have. He, like, so, there's a few things. This is my rant, but at the moment I'm calm. Um, so, slow play is always one of those weird things, but the problem is that this isn't just a random thing in the middle of the tournament. This is literally the final. Semi final. This is the se semi final. Semi final. There is a level like, of expectation of knowledge and gameplay at that point yes you can't just go oh well p doesn't know what these cards do once you're a, in the top 32 bullshit yeah b you still need to play to an extent that is acceptable reading a card once sure maybe even twice but multiple times across the game no yeah you are con once you're that far in an event you were considered a I would think you're considered a professional player. Hmm. Like, it's a remote duel. It is what it is. But you've played how many rounds? Like, yeah. yeah you've got that. Uh, you meant to have Neuron on hand? And you, you have access to the whole database. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's no, there's no excuse. I, I think, I think more so, maybe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think this comes down to rulings in a competitive setting for Konami. I think, unfortunately putting the onus of responsibility on the judges that were watching the event or not or wh whatever it may be putting this vague thing out there of you can decide what a reasonable pace is because again i saw people having the argument this is a very very important game he is going to check a bunch of what the cards do and i'm like yeah sure that's a re good argument but th you're leaving it up to interpretation then and you can't do that in a competitive setting when it's top four yeah like and that's a word that's used a lot in law when they want to be purposely vague is reasonable yes unfortunately people have a different interpretation of what reasonable is and that gets fucky uh and that's what happened there um he thought he was being reasonable by asking what the same card did multiple times uh, and then acting shocked when the card resolved yeah like no. you asked what it did three times the card resolves and you're like Wait a minute. What do you like, mean this is resolving? What does it do? Oh, I thought you would resolve it on your second normal summon. No, it's not. Like, uh, resolving normal summoning. You've normal summoned? No, this is map resolving. Maps resolving? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, but it's but it's ridiculous because again, watching it because I after I saw Josh's whole thing about going back and forth in the comments and stuff, I had a peek and it's fucking ridiculous. It's so bad. It's just. Nobody is going to... Oh, anyway, if you find that reasonable, you're an idiot, firstly. But secondly, like... It, again, realistically, I don't think it's... I. Uh, it's hard because Yu-Gi-Oh! can get overly complicated sometimes. Having a reasonable set of, like, amount of time that you're taking for these actions should be fine. I think a judge is fine to give leeway if, you know, it's a 18 chain link and there's a lot of complicated shit going on and making both players understand where how everything's going to resolve, I think, takes time. But when you're talking about what a card does, card, a basic card re resolution, I think it's yeah. fine to have an amount of time that you go, this is how long you get to understand what's happening. Yeah. If not, we have to keep moving because it's 40 minutes with siding, which again, there was like, him siding is ridiculous. Very if you're time. at that oh, point in a YCS, side. you know what you're siding against every matchup. You do any, ask any human being that has topped an event. If you don't have you sides for it, don't side. Yeah, you, but, but you know exactly the cards that are going in and out Per the turn you're going, per matchup, you know. Had deck was gone up yet? Yeah. Yeah, somehow. I had them up on my phone before. Yeah. Um, Is it nearly back yet? Probably not. Um, on to my real gripe. Yeah, it and is. It's less to do with the player, as opposed to. Ah! Did that break? No. Nope. Oh. oh, it was his keys. Okay, I thought it was. Uh, the... Yeah, my keys also shook as I yeah. Um, my actual gripe is with the people that are white knighting this person on the internet. Are you telling me the Yu Gi Oh community doesn't understand what the fuck it's talking about? <laughs> of course they fucking don't. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so. People going in and being like, oh, He's a nice guy, he didn't mean to do it. He's pretty... No, shut the fuck up. I don't care what the person is like as a person, okay? It's not about what they're like, okay? It is about what they do. 
I'm sure there's a lot of shit people in history that were really nice when you went to dinner. They're still <laughs> shit fucking people. Yep. Like, don't white knight these people because you want to jump on their dick because they've topped them in vent or whatever. I don't care. Play or interpret things how they're meant to be interpreted, personality aside. Yeah, and, and as you said, like, if you watch the footage, you get bored watching it. It's funny, and then you get bored because of, I, like, and I, I completely understand, again, not that she's playing Thunders, but the frustration of the other player to be like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's... So, the... Something that really got to me was when the, I was watching the match play out, and he's like, slowing down the pace of play, and his opponent activates Dark Ruler, and he gets Dark Ruler, of course, and he's like, yep, yeah, cool. So Dark Ruler's been activated, there's five minutes left on the clock. So he's not going to do damage until it comes back to his turn. He's like, activates Dark Ruler, starts making plays to pick apart the board, and then he's like, but what does Map do? Again. And it's like, dude, like, he now knows that he needs to get around to another turn yeah. to threaten him. And he just proceeds to continue to ask, what does Map do? What is this? And it's like, dude... I do think do like, we do we have any idea of the judges watching the this game play out? Because so I think I know from top four onwards, or sorry, from top thirty two onwards, you literally have judges just standing there. Like that's their job to not let that happen. Once it gets to top I think it's at least top four, there is a judge watching, but the judge can't just freely interject. Sure, but it, you're talking about interpretations of how long plays are taking. Surely oh, that is an inter So that would be up to your opponent to call it. Yeah. Okay. I don't I don't think do you have the side deck, Jay, by the way? Sorry? Do you have the, the side deck? The side? Yeah, I do. Uh, where are you, Paul, you motherfucker? Um, <laughs> so is this the player that won the event? Yeah, yeah they, he went on to win the event, but he was gotcha. the top four game of it. Uh, so yeah, his sides are three Lancia, three Droll, two Nibiru, uh, Gamma Package, and three Cosmic. Sure. So it's you side Lancia. You side Lancia, that's it. You can side all of them, arguably. All of them yeah. fuck on Flunder. Cosmic doesn't do anything. Stops map. Sure, but like doesn't have to read what map does. Yeah, like Nibiru's terrible because the the fourth summon is um is the wind barrier. But everything else like Droll does well, Gamma does great, um is avoidable, but it's fine. Um Lancia, Lan have you Lancia been, Lan have you been Lancia much? Every time I get Lancia, I just play the game. Yeah, you just play. You just don't get the recursion back. Yeah, it's weird. That's it depends when they do it. Yeah, because map can't activate obviously, but the amount of times I've been Lancia and I go. Normal, get a thing. Normal, get a thing. Normal, they go to grave. Search, set, I think the go. Plan is the Lancia yeah. the day shifted nearly. Honest yeah. to God, yeah. A actually, it happened once, and I went fair cop, hey. Like it's really good. But, but otherwise, yeah, there's definitely a plan there. If there was more, if there was some more avert sides, I'd be like, oh, he 100% knows what Flunder does. Yeah, but you just, it doesn't. But again, I, I still, I still you think you should know what Flunder. You should know what, like. Not only do you know what Flunder is, but you don't top that event without, especially going like top four without going. This is exactly what I, these players know, exactly what to side versus the exact matchups if they're going first or yeah. second. Mm -hmm. You know, I would give people like, good players a minute to like to side. I wouldn't obviously. I would give them more, but they trust me. Most people can it get it done in like thirty seconds at that stage. They yeah. know what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Other decks that we had, like, we've not got all of them, unfortunately, but we do have a couple. Uh, we've got, uh, what's this? Brave. Eh? Brave with Sky Striker and DPE. Sure. They just. No, because, again, it's just packages. Yeah. Yeah, it's a much more compact version. Like, it seems more geared towards. Um, Brave and Sky. How does that work? I've said this about DPE and Sky Striker. Like, sure, you can get the DP it's... off the board, but if someone stops it, then your entire engine is dead. Yeah. Uh, sure, it, but, it... but like, there's more. There's more thought to that. It's than... a little bit more thought, but it's not a great deal. But Griffin clogging your board, it's a bit. I don't know if it's just like another engine token to get. Clogging... <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. More so the... the Griffin goes back. Yeah, yeah. More so the token actually. The token just sits there, and it's not like you can get him off the field like DPE. Like he's he's chilling. What's the catch? There has to be a catch. Maybe link, it's just link a, with it? maybe it's just a spell engine. Maybe he's summoning a Sky Striker token instead in like the like from the OTS pack, and then he links it off into um, anything else, like into yeah, maybe. anything in the, yeah, in anything and pretends it was a Sky Striker token. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why is that token kind of thick? So good. 
Because it's it's two K two K. Get fucked. Oh, okay. I said he was referring to the art on the Skystriker token. I was like, right. that's what I thought like, as well. Like, 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 like a ship or something? Uh, like, is there a person on it? I don't know. No, it's like a ghost thing. of Ray. I don't know. Yeah, uh, um, but yeah, it, every time I like, on oh, the weekend, I was just like, oh, it's 2k, 2k, right? And they're like, yeah, but I'm like, I can't, I can't get over that. Also, <laughs> if it's got the equip thing, it just doesn't die once per turn. Yeah, I, anyway. Anywho. Um, that could almost be called by itself. More yeah. interestingly. Ask Tyler, he'll give you a pure list. <laughs> More interesting in the top eight, we have DDDs. Ooh, I know we've done this. List. We've done this. I, I, so it's I've having played that deck. I get it, but he I, we'll move we'll move pretty quickly from this. But he's like all through testing and stuff. He was like this plays through so many hand traps. He finally gets on camera. Hmm. He gets hit with one hand trap and passes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the curse. It straight up is like Logan. Logan hits, is the notorious one for that. Like oh, he plays through so much stuff. Why'd you lose? I bricked. <laughs> oh man. He, oh, I, I still remember that YCS. You remember, yeah? Which one? Uh, bursting Which, spiral. Oh yeah, yeah. That was bonkers. That's so good. That was Melbourne. Opponent, opponent reveals the top deck with Spiral and he sees grass is greener. Cannot stop it. <laughs> Does grass, doesn't hit a single bit of like the engine. engine or like even snow. Just hits nothing. It's like, oh yeah, I love milling 30 cards and getting Just nowhere. Nothing. And you're like, alright, sick. But <laughs> grass is too strong. Ban it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> too strong. Um, on to. Unless we have any other discussion no, points. This dude's no. an idiot. Like, the judges should have called it. Sorry, but like that's your job. You're standing there. You can see somebody going actively going against the rules. Fucking call them. Yeah, that's it. There was meant to be side events, including Master Jewels and Jewel Links, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Oh, I oh. did hear about some sort of remote um, yeah. Master Duel thing. Yeah, and it was funny as shit because um, your side deck was every card you owned. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> that's so stupid. So there's a limit on side deck for a reason. Like, oh. you, I got 50 minutes of side deck. Dust, 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 dust. You just start crying. My PayPal's blocking me. I need to buy stuff. Opening, opening bags. The fucking. Imagine pulling up to a white chest and being like, "Time to side deck." You pull out the fucking, <laughs> you pull out the center kind of fucking briefcase. The, the vendor's just sitting right here, and you're like, <laughs> oh, can, actually, can I get the super instead of the secret? Oh uh, yeah. yeah, thanks, man. So, can you do like five bucks in this playset? <laughs> so was it fifteen cards sided in from your pool of stuff? No, it's just any everything. So you can just swap decks. You can just swap decks. You can just smoke screen. <laughs> You can swap it for the I don't know why I didn't. I, bro, you in, know, my, in, in my no, brain, in my, no, no, first invoked. in my brain, I was thinking of still signing 15 cards, even though you had the pool of anything. I was like, oh, maybe, you, surely you, it was just 15 cards. No, surely you couldn't it's, smoke screen. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I'm like, I want to see the results of this tournament. Oh, that's so good. That would be interesting to see. <laughs> I want to see someone make one of those like graphic um, deck uh, profiles with like just the stand and go it. first and then their side just like oh, yeah, when it's the fucking <laughs> chart and the arrow goes did your opponent play this if so play this deck yeah oh imagine imagine having to make one of those like Logan-esque fucking spreadsheets spreadsheets of that yeah. just like oh oh dear oh my god that would be crazy because then it's just like I, I mean let's just keep on the example of going Alright, so they're gonna go second now, so they might choose like they're probably gonna choose mech knights. So then I should go, I need to I should go heavy on traps <laughs> and then they just play fucking Elvich or something. <laughs> so you, uh, you start counter decking. <laughs> yeah, the sides are literally per deck. Yeah, you have to play four D chess to figure out what you're fucking signing into. Fucking up. The amount of people though, if that if that is the case, the amount of people that would have just like if they're going second sided into fucking Numeron, the Fucking people on Master Duel love a fucking Numeron OTK. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, shout out Loz. Were you watching during my live stream when I was playing against Numeron? And like, my opponent just straight up has game with three monsters. I'm like, if he summons four, I can nib him. Summons the fourth, and I'm like, he's my nib. <laughs> he just quits. I, d I did say that. I did. I do remember saying yeah. that. Loz was uh, very big on OTKing through the nib. 
Oh, fucking Jesus. Okay, um, so moving on to our I comments. To so from Discord, we have KSB, who has asked... Well, do make sure oh. to leave comments, description, yes. Discord, Discord link in the description. Yes. Okay. We'll yeah. reply to you sometimes. Here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Uh, so KSB asks, do you think anti-human psi... Uh, pendulum becomes relevant soon. What? Um, so, oh, fuck that so bro, what? What is it? Uh, so it is uh, anti-human uh, oh, something rather. The, the Misaya. The banish. Yeah. Misaya. Uh, it's a macro. It's a pendulum macro. Kind of. So, you can uh, so it? pendulum effect is yep. any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead, except monster cards. Ah, oh, so it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. No. So the only application uh, I can see for this is against Phantom Knight because they don't get the return Stryker. from the traps. Striker, sure. that yes. would be fucking funny. Against Striker, yeah. if when they get their new shit, it becomes like top tier. You have to play three. Uh, we can still play Shifty, I guess. But the problem is it's not searchable. Yeah. I was gonna say, what, what's the uh, what's the? It's attribute? a Cyburst Pendulum. Yeah. So like it's searchable to an extent, but it's not good. Would I? I want to search D Fisher with that with a, with a discard. Reverse D Fisher. Reverse. Yeah, yeah, not... Like you so could. That's... So there's limited interactions as to how you can search it. Like you could do some pendulum bullshit, but no one cares about pendulum, um, especially just, not Konami. If you could search D Fisher with sign and line, Wait, very you nice. do it. You can't D Fisher, search it yes. You reverse search D Fisher, no. Money. If you, you could. Search the cybers? Yes, but it's at level eight. Oh. All level eight though. Yeah, because my thing, my thing would be if it was D Fisher, yes. If it was reverse D Fisher, no. It's very limited interaction, so I like. Oh my god! I did it yes. my rant. Fucking Boogaboo is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> no, I'm sick of it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just get this off my chest. We interrupt okay. this message for the mother. Okay, okay. Here's the thing, please, for the love of God, if you want to try and get better at this game. Understand there is a difference between including cards in your deck that can be good and including cards in your deck because they are good most of the time. Just because a card is good does not mean it warrants a play. Double summon can be good in Flunders. Do you play it? No, because it's not good enough of the time to be in that list. Book of Moon is not good enough of the time to be included in the list. It's a brick most of the time. If you don't open a name and you open book, you're in the bin. If you open Advent, it fucks off most cards and fixes your hand. Stop telling me to play bad cards because they're good sometimes. I'm fucking over it. You suck at de deck building. Trust me, it'll be better. I promise you. I promise you! Anyway, vote for Blake. Vote one for Blake as president of, um, Flunders. fucking Konami. I don't know. Help Flunder is Discord server. Bro, I can't. Is there a, is there a Facebook group for him? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. It'll make yeah, me mad. It'll make me angry. Constantly brawling. It'll make me angry. By the way, the um the small stuff looks okay. Yeah. It looks fine. Do you think small world seems okay? Again, the, like all of these engines and small world and stuff contributes to your game plan more than Book of Moon sometimes dodging an imperm. Like I, it's so stupid. But anyway, stop playing bad cards. Just stop. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, next, we have from uh, Omnis Gengar. Hey, Hayden. Um, honestly, one of the best podcasts I've ever watched in a while. We need more Angry Ben. King. I'm Will Fed. Hashtag yeah. more Angry Ben. One day, I'll just knock his KFC out of his hands and then we'll come back. Yeah, I feel like mm, we need more spice on the podcast. <laughs> just starve him. <laughs> You're not coming out until the podcast. Um, Zinthonian Lord? I never know how to pronounce no, that, but you. close enough. Uh, GX had the Quizzer panel cards where the duel was turned into a game show and Belowski, a guy that was so tired and carefree, he could see Moki Moki Spirit. Oh! <gasps> the Moki Moki Kid! How much better can you get? This dude's a king! So much better. No, no, no. I do remember the Moki Moki dude, but I don't yeah. remember there being a game show. I remember him so just being like the biggest the stoner dude. Him. Yeah. yeah. And then like everybody else got super chilled out and Jaden was like, I'm gonna duel through this. And then um, Crowler was like, no you won't. We keep him locked up in an orb 99.9% .9 of the time because he's so chill, he chills everyone out and he's like the world's biggest threat. And I'm like, uh, okay, thanks GX. GX be wildin'. I watched some GX the other day. It's so yeah, funny. There's just a fucking guy called Einstein. I it's like, Eisenstein. 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 And he has space. Uh, Eisenstein. Has no, it's Eisenstein. That's actually a pretty good story of that. So I come out here to build uh, a 2002 format. Yeah. 
I'm building away. Ben walks in and goes, oh, Blake's it. Like, oh, and I put GX on just so it's something on the background. Like, man, fuck it, why not? And then while I'm doing that, Ben comes out and goes, oh, Blake's coming over to grab something. And then, yeah, Blake just shows up while I'm watching GX. Yep. And then we all just start watching GX. It's, it's so meta because the entire episode is um, Bastion trying to work out if Yu-Gi-Oh is based on luck or not. And he keeps being like, this game can't be based on luck. And then when Einstein is playing, he goes, he's taken all the luck out of Yu-Gi-Oh! And then Einstein loses to Jaden, as per usual. And then he's like, I d- no, this game can't be about luck. Ooh. And then he takes off his clothes and runs. And he, takes, he just strips naked and then just runs through the thing like, I will continue Einstein's legacy of not making this game about luck. And I'm Einstein. like, it, I, it's, it's literally the most meta episode I've ever watched. It was so funny. Moral of the story. You guess definitely about luck. on while deck building, Blake will show up at your house. I literally just walk straight through the door. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cinematic masterpiece. You need to stop saying that. It's just not a thing. Can I? Okay. During COVID, there was uh, like an initiative to like people to rent out cinemas just to go and because they were making fuck all money because no one was going. No. If yes. I rent out a cinema yes. and I put on GX, yes. surely we just go. It's yes. it's too. The thing is, but it, what do we do? Like, it's it, too funny. It's your birthday on the weekend. We literally could just get pissed. You just get pissed. Some of them allowed alcohol. Their premises would need to be the ones in the ones in Sydney just up up premise like the, uh, what do you call it um license license premises so you can drink just you can drink, drink the one in Java yeah I'm telling you I, I will put on GX actually I should really want to put a Mario Kart I think it'd be lit oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't think they're running that promotion much anymore yeah, yeah they're not running that promotion well now there's more. movies that people actually want to watch that how much does cost rent out a movie theater probably a lot more now get um, it done for the weekend hmm. In yeah, theory, so. you just have to buy every seat in the thing, which, like, at t- nearly $20 of tickets at yeah, fucked. Yeah, in theory, you just have to go... Oh, uh, then Cinema has a private buyer. <laughs> <laughs> just buy us a big TV and you can just do it here, man. Yeah, fair. I have to... Okay. Just don't take it out. This is garbage. Sort. I have to... I have to inquire, submit all my details, and then they'll send me an email giving me the... Who do you think I am? Bro, what the fuck? He starts doing it. They probably want your phone number to call you. Ugh. How much mm. money do you have, sir? I don't know, three? <laughs> yes. Bad tree fitty. <laughs> inquire. Same with uh, Hoyts. They want me to inquire. Bro, how much money do you think I got? I need a cinema guy. Yeah, you could do it with a cinema guy. Company. I don't. I, I ain't a company. Yo, Good Games Wollongong hires a cinema. I'm telling you. Oh, we can put on the... Maybe then we can have a clock big enough to see when the fucking time of the round is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, that's the other thing. Sorry, about the dude who's a fuckhead and keeps stalling. You've got a clock next to you. Get fucked. You're not telling me you're not stalling with a clock right next to you going. So what does Matt do? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, right, mate. Fuck you. Yeah, no. Fuck him. Um, but that is... We're done for the night. If you have any, yeah, let's just... If you have any questions, jump them to our Discord, leave them there, or leave them on the bottom of the podcast. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Bye. Leave a comment!